I don't know how I got to Santa Monica Pier, but the night that I was going to jump off the cliff, and I remember seeing an older man um, there with his pole, and he was fishing. And mind me, I'm crying hysterically. I couldn't believe that. Um, here it is, I'm only 40. And I'm being told that I have cancer. I was suicidal. And he said to me, in which I can only think that it was nothing but an angel. He said, you don't want to do that. When I looked up again, I didn't see that man at all. As I'm walking off the boardwalk, I never saw him again. The very next day is when I uh, got notice from my doctor that uh, my cancer could be treated right, can be under control, and I can live a five-year expansion with tamoxifen. I had no clue that I could live with breast cancer. And today, I am an eight-year survivor. He said, you are very advanced. Your growth is very, very large. And you have just a 30% chance to survive. I didn't think I'd ever date again with the way I looked at that time. I had no breasts, um, little breasts on this side, and just felt all mutilated. I stood in front of my husband. I said, take a good look. I said, because this is, this is it. You know, when I come back home, you've only got one. I don't think you ever prepared for for chemo, no matter what you read about it, no matter what people tell you, it's a it's a very strange sensation. You don't feel normal. I mean, you're getting this red Kool-Aid looking stuff shot in your arms with a nurse who's covered in a space suit because if it gets on her skin, it's gonna corrode it and she's got this mask. And they're shooting this in your veins. Your instinct either, you know, is to just yank your arm away and run. That, fight or flight takes over. It takes all your willpower to keep your arm out there and let them put this stuff in your arm and you feel it, you can taste it and you can feel the sensation of it. You know, okay, this is helping me, but this is like not good, this is poison. The experience of going through cancer changes you. And if you're one of the ones lucky enough to emerge alive on the other side, then I feel like there's, there's an obligation, there's, there's a burden, there's, there's something that comes with that, that it's really your job um, to, to live well and fully and maybe more quickly than other people because you really don't know how much time you have.